Hi there, and welcome to my channel. I'm Liz, and today I wanted to share with you my newest Zara haul. So if you're interested to see the items that I picked up, how they fit on me, and my two cents on it, then just keep watching. For this haul, um, I actually was looking for a lightweight jacket. So I've actually been on kind of on the hunt lately for a cropped trench. So I came across one at Banana Republic a few weeks ago that I loved and it's in black. So then I was like, well, I need one in a lighter color, you know, to go with all my lighter color items as well. And that's actually been a harder task. So I had purchased some items uh, and picked up the cropped trench from Zara and it was too big. It was more of a kind of oversized fit, which I don't mind a little bit of a relaxed fit, but I, I don't prefer the oversized fit um, long term. So that isn't a style that I, you know, I think personally will be a lasting style. Uh, I like to have things a little more fitted, but I do like them relaxed. So uh, I had to return the larger size and I ordered it in a smaller size. And then like I usually do while I was on there, you know, carting the next size, I picked up a few other items and I do like uh, layering. So I picked up a few jackets uh, that I thought I could wear in the spring and summer. And if not, even into the fall and winter. So um, I came across this really cute faux suede trench and it is in black, but just kind of a basic piece. So we'll see how that fits. And then this is kind of the same style, um, a faux suede trench, but in a shorter version. Mm -hmm. So the black one is a little longer. And then this is the trench coat that I had tried uh, and then had to downsize. So this is an extra small. I think I had ordered it actually in small and medium and they were both way too big. I didn't film it. Um, I don't remember why, but <laughs> anyway, so I had got those two and maybe a couple other items and um, just nothing fit. So. I am excited to see if this one fits and I have some things to tell you about that as well because I have been trying on other other ones. And then I was looking for a white purse or a tan purse. And so I picked up this. Uh, it's kind of a cream color and it is leather. Uh, made from high quality leather, any wrinkles or ir irregular irregularities are natural characteristics of the leather, make, making each piece unique. So it's kind of a little bit shiny. It's got thin straps and the ties on the side. It is lined. And it does have one pocket in there. The middle zips right here. Well, should zip, let's see. There we go. And this was pricey. So it was uh, $220. But you know, for a purse that's leather, if it's nice, um, you know, I don't mind paying. This one is a bit shiny and I'm not sure if I like the super skinny straps and the color. And then I picked up one more purse. Um, my favorite accent color is red. So I kind of am always keeping an eye out for shades of red that I like because I am, I'm a very tonal picky. <laughs> So uh, first of all, I am a neutrals gal. I love neutrals and black and white. It is like 90% of my closet, but I do have little pops of color here and there. And I especially like to put them in uh, on my purses. 
And so this is a very small purse. It's very little. Um, I would call it a mini. Maybe it is a mini. This was $50. And it does have a magnetic closure. And a shoulder strap. So this is actually pretty cute. And I like, I do like the structure. I, I do like its smallness. I'm gonna have to see if my phone fits in there. <laughs> um, I think it will. And I use a real small wallet, so my wallet will fit in there. But this would be cute just for like going, you know, going out, going to dinner, going to festival, something like that. Um, I do only have one other red purse and it's a little bigger. So this may work for a pop of color when I'm wearing like all black or something and want to go out in the fall. So that's a cute one. I'm probably going to keep that, but I like this one. All right. And I have the two little purses right here. Still considering this one. Uh, love this one. I'm going to have to uh, take it into my closet where I keep all my purses and see if I need it because I actually think I have a quite a few kind of cream colored. That's what I'm thinking this is, cream color. And I actually do need a beige or tan or white, but I don't think this color. So I don't think that one's going to work, but we'll see. And I don't love it. It's not structured enough, so probably a no on that. But let's get into the jacket try on and my thoughts. So the first one that I tried up, tried on, <laughs> is this black faux suede uh, trench coat, and it is double breasted. I got this in an extra small, probably because it is called oversized on the site, I'm sure. And uh, this was seventy dollars. Uh, let's see what it's made out of because um, I care <laughs> not that what you know not that whatever it's made out of is a complete no I just like to know for comparison so it is 95% uh, polyester 5% the elastane uh, but it feels great so it feels great it isn't lined um, it's not lined, but the pockets are lined in the, in the inside. So that's nice. And it's just a, I mean, I would say a classic great black, uh, trench coat. I love trench coats. So for me, I do not have a black, uh, trench coat like this. And it is a little bit basic as in it doesn't have the, I like it when it has trench coats have the little shoulder button thing but it does have buttons on the sleeves they're not adjustable but that's fine i like them loose i actually don't tighten them um, it has pretty nice stitching on it as well i like the buttons i'd probably wear it open i usually do wear my trench coats open um you know and in cooler weather you know layered with sweaters or whatnot i don't live in super harsh weather so i don't have to like bundle up it's I use uh, trench coats more for styling than, you know, for their intended purpose of keeping you warm and dry. Um, and since this is faux suede too, it won't get messed up if it gets a little wet. So that's nice to have. And yeah, I would say a, a classic, uh, basic staple item. Can't really go wrong. And for 70 bucks, I think that that's a great addition. All right, and the next trench coat that I picked up is this uh, lighter. It is like a cream color. I wouldn't even say tan. This is more in like the cream ecru family. I did get an extra small, so it must it must say um, oversized. And I think because I've had to exchange jackets for extra small, I'm actually normally a medium or a large, by the way, in like all U.S. brands. Um, I normally wear like a size 10 uh, blazer and I'm 5'8". So uh, just for your reference in seeing the length of these jackets and whatnot. So this one I did get because it's in a different color and it, this one is shorter. So they do have both in both colors and different lengths and I wanted to try both of them. Uh, this one also is double breasted. It is not lined. 
This one was $60, so $10 less for a little bit shorter. And um, the same composition, so 95% polyester and 5% of the elastane. But it feels nice. It feels like a normal faux suede jacket no weird feeling uh so the material feeling is fine for me which you know is something i am picky about and i have no issue with the feeling of it um, but i just didn't like this one on it felt looser it doesn't have buttons on the sleeves which kind of just makes it too plain for me and like just too basic uh so I just didn't like this one. I didn't. So this one is going to be a no for me. Um, there's just too many things off about it that didn't work out. And um, although I would like a cream colored trench, I already have a white and I have several in the tan and beige family. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty picky, so I'm gonna keep looking for. All right, and last but not least, uh, the jacket that uh, <laughs> prompted this haul. Uh, is this cropped trench coat. And so I needed to tell you a, cu a couple stories. So I was in Banana Republic. I usually actually don't go in store. I usually shop online, but I happened to be out and about and I just rolled in and you know perused around and I found a cropped black trench coat jacket that I love. I was, uh, first of all, I love trench coats and then um, I've been getting into the wide leg pants more. And so I was like, well, I need a couple more cropped jackets. And since I love trench coats, I was like, well, that's a unique and different look. And you know, I think that'd be cool to have in my closet. So I got it in black, which then prompted me to need <laughs> the counter color you know, for the rest of my clothes. And so I've been looking. So I've looked everywhere online. I picked one up from Anthropology. I've uh, purchased a few from Shein and I haven't liked any of them. So the ones from Shein uh, were too big as well. I find that they're making these very oversized, very boxy, which is great for a lot of people. If that looks great on you, if you love it, that is good for you. I prefer a more kind of relaxed fit. It doesn't I don't need it tight, but and I don't need it fitted, but I d also don't want it huge, you know, like I'm swimming in it. Um, so I have found that I've been needing to get extra small or whatever the smallest. So the ones from Shein were cute. There were different things missing. Either they didn't have buttons on the sleeves, which is important to me, and they didn't have pockets. I, I just, I, I will not own a jacket that doesn't have pockets. That is crazy to me. So <laughs> that was my issue with those. Um, so then I came across this cropped trench coat at Zara. And I bought it in uh, like a last order that I got. And I had, I think I got it in small, medium, and they were way too big. So I was like, well, let me try it in extra small. So this one is an extra small. It is $70. Um, and the other two jackets, by the way, were made in China. This is made in Cambodia, Cambodia if you care. And let's see, this is made out of... Uh, 62, I don't have, I probably need glasses, 62% <laughs> cotton and 38%, I think the elastin. It's in a ton of different languages. So one, I, I can't see small print really well and there's lots of languages <laughs> printed on the tag. So that's my trouble in reading that. Um, so this one isn't lined, but it has pockets. It is double breasted. It does have the uh, button detail on the sleeve, which I love. Uh, th the button sleeve is not adjustable on any of these. I don't know if I mentioned that. I know sometimes people like to wear them tighter, so you can't do that, at least not with this, unless you come up with some other creative way of tying it or something. Um, but I like them loose, so that's fine for me. Um, not a whole lot of detail on the back, but or anywhere, but I kind of think that that's nice. Sometimes, you know, I like kind of classic cut, not a lot going on, don't put a lot of buckles and pockets and this and that all over my stuff. I like, you know, kind of straight, like different or unique pieces. Um, 
with little flares that make them special, I don't need like a whole lot. And I don't prefer a whole lot on, especially a jacket, you know, something that I hope to keep for a long time and, you know, ends up being pretty timeless. So the tan uh, cropped extra small jacket, trench jacket at Zara, um, I think is a win. I think uh, because I've tried on so many trench cropped trench coats I know this is hard to find uh, so I am going to keep this one and be styling this one up in future videos so ladies I hope that you enjoyed this quick short uh, Zara haul and uh, if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave those below uh, any items that I keep on my hauls I usually end up doing a lookbook on because new pieces I do like to uh, style up and figure out ways that I can start wearing them and wearing them many different ways because if they can't survive being used in my closet then they're not going to hang around. I don't keep clothes just to keep them. Um, I actually like to use them. So if you enjoyed this haul, uh, check out some of my others. I do kind of the same process where I share what I got, prices, the material, the try on, and of course my two cents on how you know what i think and feel about whatever it is that <laughs> i purchased so if that sounds interesting to you i sure would love to have you come on back you know for the next one so consider subscribing so you could be notified and if you liked this haul then give me a like and ladies i hope you have a wonderful day i hope to see you in the next one